Hello everyone. Today we are here to discuss a project on Python and how Python can be used to invoke and send messages in WhatsApp. So what we are going to today do is we are going to demonstrate you how to use PyWatKit. It's a Python utility which is available in order for you to interact directly with the Py Python and WhatsApp. So we will show you certain examples using which you can directly interface with your WhatsApp. Now, in order to perform this activity, first you need to go to your Python installation folder. Now, in my case, I have my Python installed in my app data local programs, Python, Python 310. So your first task is to go and open a command prompt from this folder. And then you need to install pip install pywatkit. So under Python 310, there is a folder scripts and you paste this command and you should get this particular message. If you have already installed pywatkit, if not, then Python will install the relevant library in your computer. After you have done this, then go back to your Python root folder, go to the Python terminal and then run the command import pywatkit. Okay, so after you have installed the pywatkit library, then you need to import the pywatkit and this message should be successfully imported. Now, I want to send a WhatsApp message to a phone number and I want to send it at a particular time. So right now I'll just set the time as 2038. And please make sure that you are already logged in to your web.whatsapp.com. And so that, you know, uh, the when Python tries to send a message, you are already pre-logged in, okay? Okay, so now if you see with this message, with this API, I'm going to send the message at 839. So this will go and open the WhatsApp window in next 46 seconds. And after 20 seconds, the message will be delivered. So 839. So when the timer in my system clock will reach to this particular time, Python will open a WhatsApp window, log into that, reach to this phone number, which is there in my WhatsApp contacts. And then after 20 seconds, this message will be delivered. So let's just wait for a few seconds and wait for Python to perform that activity. Yes, now Python has op opened the web.whatsapp.com in which I'm already logged in. It has reached out to that number and typed the message, welcome to Simply Learn World. and I can send this message. Now let's move on to the another example. If I want to send a message to a WhatsApp group, then you need a WhatsApp group chat ID and the message you want to send. So now in order to send a message to the WhatsApp group, you can pick any WhatsApp group in which you are administrator go to the group info and click invite to group via a link and in this link copy copy this part copy link go to notepad just copy this part this is the group id okay and paste it over here okay so now you can send message to a group, copy paste this in your command prompt, set the timing
In 16 seconds, WhatsApp will open a window and after 30 seconds, the message will be delivered. Okay, so WhatsApp window is opened. It will reach out to that particular group. It will type the message and submit it and even it will close the window automatically now okay so this particular command has typed the message submitted it and closed the window now if you want to send the whatsapp message instantly you just use the api send what's message instantly and it will send it instantly to the user. Now another utility is that if you want to find a keyword on YouTube, so we'll just play on YouTube, simply learn on YouTube. So it will automatically play the YouTube channel, which you have put in that particular keyword on the YouTube. So Python can also directly open a YouTube URL, or if you want to do a Google search, here you go. So as soon as you put that command on the Python console, it will open google.com and search it. So with these utilities, you can directly interact, create your program to interface Python with WhatsApp. I hope you had a great learning session and I look forward to connecting with you in my next session. Thank you. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.